What's going on guys, Lon here from Android Authority, and Apple's take on what a smartwatch should be is finally here, but how does it stack up to Google's Android Wear? Well, let's go ahead and compare the two and see what's similar, what's different, and find out. So just as a quick disclaimer, this is going to be more or less a software comparison because the hardware will vary based on which Android Wear smartwatch you have, but for the sake of this video, we'll be using the LG Watch Urbane because it's currently the only Android Wear smartwatch to be running the latest 5.1.1 update. With the 5.1 update, both Android Wear and Apple's Watch OS 1.0 couldn't be more similar to one another. Aesthetically, they may look very different, but when you boil it all down, these wearable OSs do practically the same thing. Both send and receive notifications, answer phone calls, track fitness data, and have customizable watch faces on top of a laundry list of other things, and most importantly, they still tell the time. That isn't to say that there aren't any differences, there definitely are, and even their similarities have differences. Like James Franco said in the movie The Interview, they're same same, but different. Let's start with how each OS handles notifications. With Android Wear, notifications show up in a card style format that pile up in a vertical list as more and more notifications are received. All of them can easily be dismissed with a simple swipe and many of them are actionable like sending a reply to a text message or email, deleting them, or opening the respective application on the phone directly from the watch. With Apple's Watch OS, anytime a notification arrives, it'll briefly pop up on the display and disappear. If you happen to miss the notification or want to see all of your notifications at a single glance, you can swipe down from the top of the display to reveal the notification shade and also dismiss them from here. Unlike Android Wear, only certain notifications can be responded to from the watch, making notifications on the Apple Watch feel slightly less robust. Apps like Hangouts and Gmail will require you to open them on the phone, but notifications from apps like Apple's own iMessage can be responded to with a canned message or voice dictation. Speaking of voice dictation, just like their phone OS counterparts, on Android Wear you're dealing with Google Now and Siri on the Apple Watch. As to which one you'd prefer, that'll be purely up to you, but with Google Now integration on Android Wear, this means any cards that you normally get on your phone or tablet, like sports scores, stocks, and weather, will also show up on your watch. Siri doesn't necessarily offer that for the Apple Watch, but swiping up from the bottom of the display will reveal what Apple calls glances, which can offer a lot of the same type of information that one might get from Google Now. Glances is also a hub for a bunch of other things like media controls, navigation, and even Instagram and Twitter if you'd like. For fitness junkies, both OSs are capable of tracking calories burned, exercise, heart rate, and the Apple Watch will even remind you to stand if it thinks you've been sitting idle for too long. There's possibly a third-party Android Wear app that does the same thing, but the out-of-the-box experience doesn't offer this feature. Watch faces are also highly customizable on either OS, but as of right now, there's many more options on Android Wear, which is most likely due to the open nature of the platform and its third-party support. But along with the appearance, watch faces on both can be customized to show pertinent information like battery life, current date, and weather, among many other things. With the 5.1 update, Google added some new features to Android Wear like Wi-Fi support to allow the watch to sync without a Bluetooth connection, wrist gestures to scroll through notifications by flicking the wrist, screen lock, a dedicated app and contact screen, and the ability to send emojis. With the exception of Wi-Fi support and wrist gestures, all of these features are also available on the Apple Watch, but again, both OSs handle them differently. For example, screen lock on Android Wear is a pattern, whereas on the Apple Watch, it's a pin, and the apps on Android Wear is a simple vertical scrolling list versus a series of floating circles on a black background on the Apple Watch, which may look confusing at first, but it's actually a lot easier to navigate than you might think. These differences are rather negligible, but they're differences nonetheless. The biggest difference between these two wearable platforms is how they both feel. Android Wear feels like a companion to your smartphone by only giving you the essentials without being a full-on distraction, while the Apple Watch feels like it's trying to be a miniaturized version of your phone because it practically does everything your phone can do, including taking phone calls directly from the watch and making purchases with Apple Pay. Most of the disparity really has to do with the app selection. 
Even though the Apple Watch is still very new, there's already a wide selection of applications available that you won't find on Android Wear, at least not right now. While you may receive notifications from Instagram and Twitter on your wrist with Android Wear, you still have to pull out your phone to access the application. With the Apple Watch, you can actually scroll through Instagram or Twitter and like, comment, favorite, and retweet just like you would on the full-blown app and even Uber a car ride all without taking your phone out of your pocket. Surely this could all change in the future as these two wearable operating systems go head to head and evolve the same way their mobile operating system counterparts have evolved. Both have their advantages and disadvantages and while they share a lot in common, the experiences are very different and it's going to come down to personal preference just like it always has in this never ending war of mobile operating systems. Or I guess in this case, wearable operating systems. As always guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up down below. We definitely appreciate it. And also subscribe to the channel, which is also down below if you haven't already. And if you wanna see more, make sure to check out the links over here on the side. And also don't forget to check out the website as well, androidauthority.com, because we are your source for all things Android. Take care guys.